Unitas number one, Ration at Coronson and Drives, co owners Kelx Incorporated, Earl Sheilar, and Seal Stable. To trade balance has David Wade, for Yuka Pelyarvi, and Miko Lakunen. Brylin Stable owning John Holmes, driver of three, Brylin Image. Conway Hall four gets John Kemble for Alan Levitt, Mimi Lennonberg, Sander Lennonberg, and Robert Allen Stewart. Carl Jamison owns and drives five. Speedy Lauren, co-owner Dolores Pintuala. Mutual bond six with Bob Roberts for Wendy Roberts and Barbara Bailey. Wendy Farms of Connecticut owns seven. Rock around the clock, driver Ron Waples. Tom Durand, owner and driver of eight. Kind of lucky. Ombro Revolution nine, owned and driven by Joe Hooden, co-owners Wayne Giles and Herb Boggs. The sixth race, second division of the 1997 and 10th annual Campbellville Stakes, two-year-old open trot. Sixth race is the second division of the 10th annual in 1997 Campbellville Stakes. Through the back stretch, and there they go. They're off and trotting. Mutual Bonds was on a break as the gate got away. Schnitker up fast along the inside with Unitas, then Speedy Lord, and in between trotters goes Brylin Image. Uh, tight to the inside, fourth is Trade Balance, and Armbro Revolution followed through effectively to be in fifth. Conway Hall is sixth. Rock Around the Clock is seventh. Brylin Image is off stride. Then it's back to Kinda Lucky, and after the gate miscue, Mutual Bonds is trailing this field. Uh, Schnitker with Unitas out there on a three. Length advantage. Trade Balance was through for second, Speedy Lorne third. Ombra Revolution is fourth. Conway Hall sits in fifth, 29 and one, first split. Unitas is on a runaway lead in front of the grandstand of four lengths. Trade Balance is next and closing that gap noticeably now. On the inside third for Speedy Lorne and Ombra Revolution starts first out from fourth. Conway Hall a second over fifth at the lower turn. Rock around the clock, sixth along the inside. Brylin Image is back down trotting and his seventh, kind of lucky, is eighth. And trailing is Mutual Bonds Unitas put up the half in a minute flat. Here comes Armbro Revolution quickly on the outside. Rock around the clock was off stride in the back stretch, so was kind of lucky. And going inside the final three eighths, Armbro Revolution from first over takes over the lead. Unitas is all through along the inside. Speedy Lauren up on the outside. Conway Hall is on the outside fourth. Trade balance was hemmed in from fifth. Brylin Image sixth at the outside. And then it's way, way back to Rock around the clock. Mutual bonds and the distance trailer kind of lucky. Three quarters and 129 and four. Armbro Revolution on the lead. Conway Hall is stalking in. Speedy Lauren back to third at the inside. Trade balance is fourth. Unitas a tired fifth. Brylin Image again off stride. They're in the lane now. Armbro Revolution is joined by Conway Hall. Conway Hall responding on the outside. Takes over coming to the tote board and wins the second division of the Campbellville Stakes by two. Conway Hall defeating Trade Balance, Armbro Revolution third, Speedy Lauren fourth in two minutes flat, Conway Hall. For Conway Hall returned, two-year-old Garland Lobel, Brown Colt from Amur Ma Angus, owned by Alan Levitt, Mimi and Sander Lennenberg and Robert Allen Stewart co-owns and trains, driven to victory by John Campbell. It's five and eight this year. Victory in the Campbellville Stakes in two minutes flat. Conway Hall in the sixth race. Making Mohawks winner's enclosure trackside presentation. Mr. David Gorman, the Vice President of Corporate Affairs for the Ontario Jockey Club. Driver John Campbell, your horse looked quite comfortable tonight, John. Yeah, he struggled a little on the turns, especially the second and third turn. I had to be a little careful with him, but once he got straightened up in the stretch, that was the best part of him was uh, finishing. He's been racing on a 7 8 mile track. Was there a noticeable difference from the 7 8 You've driven him twice in a row on the big track and now here on the 5 8 I don't think it was the, the turns uh, being tighter. I think it was more the footing. The track's pretty loose out there tonight. Uh, they just resurfaced it and it hasn't tightened up that well. I think it's more uh, the footing than the, the, the fact that there were three turns. 
The horses are just approaching the three-eighths pole. They haven't uh, gotten to the half yet. 29-1, and one. a bit of a speed battle, not overly quick, but 29-1. and one. And Unitas opened up to an early lead, and you just let your horse settle a little bit. Uh, can you explain to the public about a horse that isn't handling the track that well and what you have to do with them? Well, even in this bottom turn, I wanted to keep up to uh, Joe Houdon with the nine horse, and he was just wasn't trotting as comfortable as you'd like, and uh, I was scared to put any pressure on him right then. And uh, there was a horse slipped out in between, and... Uh, it actually worked out okay when the uh, horse got in between, got back in the two hole, and I was able to just be too wide around the last turn. The horses reached the half in a minute, and the three quarter time will be 129 and 4. And Carl Jamison has Speedy Lauren, and he's the horse that's first over, and you're following his cover, and of course he does drop in. And uh, what about the last turn? Was he a little bit better? Well, he was trotting faster than he was the other turn, and uh, he was hitching and and uh, and looking where to put his, his hind feet around the last turn, but he, he always tries to go forward. He's got a great attitude for uh, just a young horse like that. His full sister raced here, Emily Cassell, and she was a great filly in, in uh, Quebec, and he looks like he's going to follow in her, in her footsteps. Um, he looked as comfortable as last week, if not more comfortable. Once he straightened up in the stretch, he was real strong, and uh, he, he felt good right to the wire. He's got a great attitude, as I said, and uh, the strongest part of him was at the wire, and, and that's good to see with the two-year-old. Thanks for joining me, John. That's Conway Hall winning the second division of the Campbellville. It's five in a row for this Colt. Thanks a lot, Karen.